what is up guys it's FR gaming here and today we're gonna play moss from polyart and we're gonna see just how good this game is because I've heard a lot of good things about it so without further ado let's get started Okay, well, let's see here. Let's look around a little bit. Looks pretty good to me. I see a couple of dust particles floating around. Really minute, but it's it's actually pretty good detail. In the book, it's called Moss. Okay, so what have we got to do here? Let me look at these candles because those uh those flames in the candle look pretty dang real. Yep. Okay, so let me recenter the screen a little bit. Okay, we got the book and a ball. I'm using a dual shock four controller. Press R2. Turn the page. Okay, a butterfly. I wonder if I could have just skipped that page. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey we take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes. Let's begin. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. King's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed, but the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that fated night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly arisen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. <sighs> Trying to pull that dust particle out of the way. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A 
large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass, and awaiting its next hero. I just wondered if I could do something with it since it's glowing. Oh, what's going on? Whoa. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. What was that? Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. What was that? A bird. Scared me. That must have been me getting too close. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Wow, the, the closer you get up, the more detail there is. And night would follow. This is pretty cool. third person perspective this is the second game that I've played like this Theseus was the first one and this one's pretty cool too so far good job did you just give me a fist bump Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Okay, so now how are you going to get up there? Do you got to? Oh, okay. I gotta bring it back. What? She can make it. Come on. What is this? What was it? This is, this game looks pretty, really, really good. I'm not going to even say pretty good. It's really good. It was done with uh, Unreal Engine. 
Look, you can cut down the grass. That's cool. It's like mowing the yard. <laughs> I like it. Trim, trim here, trim, trim there. Oh, there's something up there. I gotta try to get it. Wow. I wish Skyrim looked this good. I can't cut you, but I can cut the grass. Can I go up here? No. I want to fish. Hey, what are you doing here? so you can stop that but how do you get up there okay let me go a little bit slower here I missed it Okay. Oh, there's something else up there. I don't know what those things are, but apparently, uh, supposed to pick them up. I don't know if it's money or what. Oh, so you can see behind the trees. That's cool. Figure that out. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Cool. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle. Hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. 
I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. The moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Okay. Everybody, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there because I don't want the video to be too long. But I am really enjoying this. And if you like what you see, give this bit of this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you want to see more future VR content on other games, hit that subscribe button. This is FR Gaming, and I will see you in the next episode.